Welcome to Geothermal University. I'm Kern Wildhaber, and today we're going to discuss the installation, setup, features, and benefits of the GeoFlow Variable Speed Flow Center featuring the Grunfoss Magna Geo 32 140 pump. The GeoFlow installation and operation manual is available on the Geothermal University website. We recommend having this with you while watching this video. Now let's get started. For this video, we will be discussing the panel mount flow center. The panel mount flow center is a self-contained package designed to significantly reduce installation time for the variable speed, pump, and controller. All components necessary for plumbing and controlling the pump are included. Included in the package is the panel, flow center, and controller as well as all of the fittings needed for connecting the, to the ground loop and heat pump. The variable speed Magna Geo 32-140 pump is also available in individual standard, pressurized, and non-pressurized flow centers. Once the flow center is mounted to a solid structure and the unit is set into the installation position, we'll need to complete the heat pump piping. If you're installing a flow sensor, cut a small piece of hose 6 inches to 8 inches to connect between the bottom barbed connection at the flow center and the flow sensor. It's important to note the direction of flow. If you're not installing a flow sensor or the package does not use a flow sensor, for example, a temperature difference control only, the small piece of hose is not needed. Connection fittings for the flow sensor are also sold separately in male pipe thread connections. Cut the remaining amount of hose as needed for connections to and from the heat pump and the flow center. For flow rate control using a flow sensor, connect minimum 18 gauge four conductor thermostat wire to terminals A, Y2, C, and R. From the heat pump to the ACC, Y2, C, and R of the panel mounts terminal strip. For temperature control, delta T connect to ACC, C, and R. Y2 is not needed for this application. For heat pumps without an accessory terminal, ACC, connect terminal ACC at the panel mount flow center to the A terminal on the accessories terminal strip. Important, make sure that heat pump power is disconnected before proceeding to this step. Now we'll complete the high voltage wiring to variable speed pump. Run high voltage wiring from the L side of the compressor contactor to the pump terminals. Note the high voltage connections on the pumps are labeled a bit differently than we are accustomed. The pump is labeled L1, in, and ground. You will connect L1 to L1 and L2 to in. Ground to ground. Do not run pumps in temporary mode before connecting wiring. Remember wiring must meet all applicable code requirements, including requirements for wire protection, such as conduit. Wire size must be at least 14 gauge copper conductors. Remember, do not connect the variable speed pump to the T side of the heat pump contactor. The variable speed pump must be powered at all times. After verifying that the heat pump breakers and wire size is sufficient for both the heat pump and the flow center pump or pumps, connect the variable speed pump to the L side of the contactor. Complete high voltage wiring to second pump if applicable. If a second pump is installed, the second pump must be wired to the Grunfoss controller so that the relay in the controller can engage and disengage the pump based upon heat pump operation. For example, first or second stage operation, flow rate, run high voltage wiring from the L side of the compressor contactor to the Grunfoss controller terminals labeled in. Run wiring from the controller terminals labeled out to the second pump. Thermistor installation. Install thermistors in any quarter inch NPT female port using a quality thread sealing compound, pipe dope. Be sure to insulate the entire fitting pipe thermistor to prevent conductive heat transfer from affecting the thermistor reading. Adding additional wire to the thermistor leads is acceptable since the resistance of the thermistor is much greater than the resistance of the additional wiring. The installation operation manual provides several examples of thermistor to fitting assemblies. Grunfoss VFS sensor installation. Install the VFS sensor and flow tube by utilizing the one inch hose barb transition fittings. Allow six to eight inches of one inch rubber hose in front of and behind the flow tube. Be sure that there are no sharp bends or elbows directly in front of or behind the sensor. Verify that the arrow on the flow tube matches the pumping direction or the sensor will not perform correctly. The sensor can be placed on the entering water or leaving water side of the heat pump. The IOM provides example of the sensor installation. Complete flushing purging of ground loop piping. Do not attempt to start the pumps 
until the system has been filled, purged of air, and pressurized. We recommend use of a filter when flushing and purging a loop. Here's a quick overview of the variable speed flow center features. The GeoFlow Universal Pump Controller, UPC-GEO, is a 24 volt AC powered control that operates as one or two pump variable speed flow center systems to provide accurate pump control and feedback resulting in the lowest possible power consumption for the pumps and system. Installing a single Grunfoss Vortex Flow Sensor, or VFS, with the UPC-GEO allows the system to be controlled using a flow rate set point input into the controller based on the requirements of the heat pump. Differential temperature control requires the addition of two immersion thermistors and allows separate delta T inputs for heating and cooling modes. Installing both a VFS sensor and thermistors allows the UPC-GEO to display flow rate, delta T, and heat of extraction and rejection in thousands of BTUs per hour. For flow rate based control, one Grunfoss flow sensor is required. The UPC-GEO receives a 24 volt AC signal from the heat pump or thermostat for stage one or stage two heating or cooling. The UPC-GEO then provides a PWM signal to the variable speed Magna GEO 32-140 pump or zero to 10 volts DC output for other pumps and monitors the output signal from the Grunfoss VFS flow sensor and pump. The UPC GEO increases or decreases the pump speed based on the flow rate input into the controller and the actual flow rate of the system. For higher flow rate and or head loss systems, a two pump variable speed flow center may be required. This flow center consists of a single variable speed Magna GEO 32-140 and a constant speed UPS 26-99. The second option is delta temperature control using two immersion thermistors. The UPC-GEO receives a 24 volt AC signal from the heat pump or thermostat for heating or cooling. The UPC-GEO then provides a PWM signal to the Magna GEO 32-140 pump or zero to 10 volts DC output for other pumps and monitors the temperatures provided from the EWT and LWT thermistors and the return signal from the pump. The controller recognizes whether the heat pump is in heating or cooling mode by monitoring the EWT and LWT temperatures. For example, heating mode, leaving water temperature is less than entering water temperature, and cooling mode, leaving water temperature is greater than entering water temperature. The UPC-GEO attempts to satisfy the flow rate requirement by first using the more efficient Magna GEO 32-140 pump. If the Magna GEO reaches its maximum performance level before satisfying the flow rate set point requirement, the UPC-GEO energizes the UPS 26-99 and ramps the Magna GEO down to match the requirement, thereby minimizing pumping power. The UPC-GEO saves the pump signal settings to allow it to quickly deliver the required flow rate on subsequent calls for heating or cooling. On two pump variable speed flow center systems, the UPC-GEO energizes the UPS 26-99 for 30 seconds every 72 hours if it has not run during the same period. For higher flow rate and or head loss systems, a two pump variable speed flow center system may be required. This system allows specified flow rate to be used. Higher performance of pumps may allow for single pump instead of two per system. Some controllers allow specified flow rates for multi-stage heat pumps and multi-unit installations. Lower watts equal higher efficiency. Magna Geo at nominal flow rates reduces energy consumption by 64% versus a UP26-116 and 46% reduction versus a UP26-99. General navigation. Now we will show the programming. The menu items are navigated by using the plus, up, minus, down, and OK center buttons. Pressing the plus and minus buttons moves a triangular cursor up and down through the menu items. Switches between the two main pages or increases or decreases a particular parameter. Pressing and holding the OK button for one second while on either main page changes the display to the setup menu screen, unless the controller has been locked. Pressing and holding the OK button for one second from any screen other than main returns the display to the previous screen. Pressing and quickly releasing the OK button scrolls through the menu options next to the cursor or changes the cursor to a filled triangle which allows the plus and minus buttons to increase or decrease the parameter selected. Main page. The main page provides information on the system. The screen shows whether there is a first or second stage call, pump operation, 
or power usage for PWM controller output to pump or volts output for 0 to 10 volts DC controller output. The control mode, flow or delta T, the flow rate or delta T depending on control method selected, and the system status. The system status area provides information such as whether the system is running or stopped, whether one or two pumps are running, and any warnings or errors. Pressing the up or down arrow from the main page changes the display to the main two page, which displays the EWT entering water, LWT leaving water, flow rate, and HEHR. Note that parameters displayed depend on the sensors that are installed in the system. A VFS flow sensor and a thermistor must be installed to see all of the parameters. Setup menu. The setup menu is accessed by pressing and holding the OK button for one second while on the main page. Item 1 in the setup menu changes depending on which mode is selected and will always match the mode listed in item 4. Flow configuration and minimum pump speed percentage. The flow configuration menu is accessed by selecting flow from the setup menu when item 4 is set to flow. Separate flow rates for stage 1 and stage 2 operation can be specified. The flow rate specified for stage 1 will be applied when the controller receives a 24 volt AC signal at the left HPN1 terminal or when a dry contact is made across the two HPN1 terminals. For panel mount, the power connected to ACC will provide this signal. The flow rate specified for stage 2 will be applied when the controller receives a 24 volt AC signal at the left HPN2 terminal or when a dry contact is made across the two HPN2 terminals. For panel mount, the power connected to Y2 will provide this signal. Press the OK button to select item 1, stage 1, or item 2, stage 2, and the plus and minus buttons to set the values. Item 3, minimum percentage, in the flow configuration menu allows for a minimum pump speed percentage set point. Although not typically used for residential applications, the pump speed may be set to remain above a certain percentage RPM regardless of the flow rate setting for stage one. To change minimum percentage, press the arrow down, minus button, to select item three. Press the OK button to select the minimum percentage menu. The triangular cursor will turn solid and use the plus or minus buttons to set the value. Once set, press the OK button again to lock in the value. Mode setup, the UPC Geo's operating control mode is set by moving the cursor to item four, mode, on the setup menu and pressing the OK button until the desired mode is displayed. Item 1 in the menu will change to match the mode. There are three modes available. One flow, two delta T, and three meter. Flow mode provides pump control and feedback based on the desired flow rate for first and second stage operation. This mode requires the installation of a Grunfoss VFS sensor. Delta T mode provides pump control and feedback based on desired differential temperature for heating and cooling operation and requires the installation of thermistors. Meter mode provides a display of flow rate, entering and leaving fluid temperatures, and HEHR depending on which sensors are installed. Meter mode does not provide an output to control the pumps and only displays the main two page. Do not leave control in meter mode for long periods of time. Delta T configuration and minimum pump speed percentage. The Delta T configuration menu is accessed by selecting item 1 Delta T from the setup menu when item 4 is set to Delta T. Separate Delta T values for heating and cooling operation can be specified. The heating Delta T will be applied when the controller receives a 24 volt AC signal at the left HPN1 terminal or the left HPN2 terminal and the EWT is greater than LWT, i.e. heat is extracted from the loop. The cooling delta T will be applied when the controller receives a 24 volt AC signal at the left HPN1 terminal or the left HPN2 terminal and the LWT is greater than EWT, i.e. heat is rejected to loop. A dry contact across the two terminals of HPN1 or HPN2 can be used as an alternative to providing a 24 volt signal. For panel mount, the power connected to ACC will provide this signal. Item 3, minimum percentage in the Delta T configuration menu allows for a minimum pump speed percentage set point. Sensor configuration. 
Note, selecting the actual sensors installed in the system is critical to proper controller performance. The sensor configuration menu is accessed by selecting sensors from the setup menu. Items 1 and 2 are provided for the various Grundfos Vortex flow sensor options. The provided flow sensor is VFS 10-200. Items 3 and 4 are provided for 10K thermistors. To change the type of sensor, press the OK button to select the item. Cursor becomes filled and use the plus and minus buttons to select the sensor. The UPC-GEO will automatically recognize when a thermistor is connected to the EWT or LWT thermistor terminals. Media Configuration The Media Configuration menu is accessed by selecting Media from the Setup menu. The Media Configuration page allows setting the type and percentage of antifreeze used in the ground loop system. The type choices are ethanol, methanol, glycol, and none. The media inputs only affect the HEHR calculation. It is possible the calculation shown on the controller screen is different than a hand calculation. The reason the calculation could be different is the UPC-GEO can use a fluid factor less than 485 in some instances. The 485 fluid factor used in hand calculations is a close value for all antifreeze types, but it is not as accurate as the controller. Lockout setup. There are three lockout modes available that provide differing levels of security to the controller settings. One is screen, two is parameter, and three is none. Screen lockout disables all display screen feedback. A controller in screen lockout mode will not respond to plus, minus, or OK button inputs and will display protected on the screen. Parameter lockout prevents access to the setup menu, but the main and main two pages will be displayed as normal. The default lockout setting of None allows access to all the display screens and settings. The mode is selected by moving the cursor to item 5, Lockout, in the Setup menu and pressing the OK button until the desired mode is displayed. Controller Output Signal Setup There are two controller output modes available that change the output based upon the variable speed pump connected. One is PWM and two is 0 to 10 volts DC. The default setting is PWM which is used for the Grunfoss Magna Geo variable speed pump. The 0 to 10 volts DC setting is used for Grunfoss Magna 3 or other pumps that require a 0 to 10 volt DC input signal. The mode is selected by moving the cursor to item 6, Signal, in the Setup menu and pressing the OK button until the desired mode is displayed. Menu Choice 6 is the only available for controllers with software version 3.0 or higher. Why sell variable speed flow centers? There are a number of startup and service benefits. For example, on-screen operation, stage one and stage two, EWT and LWT temperatures, differential and pump watts, flow rate, if equipped with a flow sensor, heat of extraction, heat of rejection, direct readout with the flow sensor. Manufacturer's catalog data for COP and EER does not include pumping watts, and pumping watts can be significant and will affect system COP and EER. A variable speed flow center optimizes the operation of a geothermal heat pump while providing the lowest possible operational cost for the homeowner. Thank you for watching Geothermal University.